to us With our mouth bridging and collide such and guess it's all I was gonna Ooh, say yeah, I was yeah. gonna like play off of that and do a bit of like what's a porno that like type that we could corner the market on, but then I remember that everything exists. There's not yeah, <laughs> there's not a damn thing. <laughs> there's not an unexplored area of porn. There's gotta, I mean, there's probably, gotta be. I've checked. There's not. <laughs> I think what the about only thing um? That doesn't... I so mean, it's like I done did the research. What about like us? <laughs> I did the leg work on this one. What about us fully clothed, all together eating a meal? That's just dinner. That's That's not porn. That's (laughs) That's just us videotaping us. us No, 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 no. no. It's the next level. So, like, after nudity comes full clothing. So this is the after Uh... porn? Yeah, like 2060. So there's oh, no see, porn. People don't watch. People don't watch porn because they want to find out what happens after. <laughs> because it would just look like the crew is eating dinner. <laughs> yeah. That, because none of us look like porn stars. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's what it would be. Well, I'm thinking like next generation. <laughs> I may have gone too far. Yeah, the actors are right. washing up. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know what ten years is. I can't do that. Hey man, um, ten years Ron Jeremy now? didn't look like yeah. a porn star till he became a porn star. That's true, I guess. He also did have a giant hog. Who says we don't? Talking about Matt? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Me. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> oh man, yeah. I- Every time I urinate. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Okay. <laughs> that's why I'm funny. Uh, yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> the pain makes it easier. <laughs> no, you have to adapt and evolve, Al. Exactly. Oh. Guys who have a big dick don't need humor. No, they're just rude. <laughs> just mean people. Well, that's because they're upset. They always have to carry around an extra, like... 20 pounds. That's yeah, that's true. They, 20, 20 pounds? pounds of, 20, 20 pounds. pounds of penis? 20 pound penis? <laughs> yeah. That, it's a, it's the a woman serious, I had sex with last night is recovering. It, it's a condition. In the ICU. <laughs> that's entirely too much. The, he's got as much penis as I have turkey on Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's, that's a lot of dick. Yeah. That's a lot. Think of about stuff. how big. Think about how big a twenty pound turkey is. And it's like that, a three or four month old baby. Oh, <laughs> that's a big penis, Matt. You're not allowed to. You're not, you're not allowed to compare that's penises to penises. babies. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's just it's, 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 the size it's, it's a it measurement. Does. It's scientific. <laughs> oh my god! That's a uh, it's uh, a full grown beagle. <laughs> I don't oh. even think what. No, uh, Sage bought oh. a beagle yesterday in Red Dead too. Sorry. He oh, bought a beagle in Red, in Red, Dead. Red it's not Dead. It's not a beagle. It looked like I don't know what a beagle looks like. Definitely not that. He bought a hunting dog. Yeah, it was a dog. From my, from my camp. It's a cool dog. Nice. Were you nice to the dog? Uh, I pet it. Well, yes. it started barking, and he said, oh, okay, you keep cool. barking. <laughs> I mean, I didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't say that. Mm. I've never threatened a dog. For, for a l- I believe Al. <laughs> you guys are crazy. <laughs> I definitely believe Al. For a little cross-channel talk, I did watch your... Uh, Red Dead uh, on oh, the PC you, with with cheating. Yeah, I cheated. <laughs> oh, boo, Al Chester's boo. <laughs> no, 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 because he didn't cheat like, oh, I'll get all of the guns and ammunition. He cheated like, let me just run quick outside of town and spawn like five wolves. <laughs> <laughs> and like then right on top of myself. Eaten by and them. Then, which, 
And then was shocked when he was quickly murdered. <laughs> they, they I made them. From the they wolves? killed me. Why? My boys. <laughs> My boys. My boys. <laughs> My boys. Oh, so sad. Was he's, that all the, the fat spawned, people? Oh, yeah. I ran over. Like, yeah. This is how you treat your papa. <laughs> Why? Why, babies? He spawned what? like five coyotes, like, get ready, boys, we're taking over this town. And then they all just ran away into the woods. <laughs> you should have made, like, I thought they a bunch people. of wolves and then a bear and then Ooh, made them fight each other. I gotta Ooh. do a bear. I gotta do a bear, Nikolai. Whoa. Whoa, man. Oh, you gotta I'm doing create it. a bear. Yo. Yo. Red Dead 2 cheating battle arena. Three <laughs> bears versus ten wolves. Oh my oh god. My god. Oh. <laughs> I feel like that'd be pretty great. <laughs> I that, I feel like that's definitely something they'd used to do in like Roman Coliseums. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's just get like uh, a lion and three bears. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, that's I don't know. It's okay if it's video games. We don't have to feel bad. Yeah. No, not real wolves. I mean Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that would be intense. That would be right. intense. I I know they used to do that in like gladiatorial times. They'd be like, we'll, we'll put in lions and shit. Yeah. I always felt bad for the people who were like, oh, it's Lion Day? Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, great. It's not like a regular so thing. I don't get to fight Eric. I have to fight a lion. Oh, <laughs> uh, <I'm> a <laughs> my, uh, my throat's a little sore. Do you think I can get the next one? <laughs> Eric the Barbarian. I just like that. The, the gladiator. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea of that being his name. I wonder Eric. Like, Eric. Carl. Carl. Ca- Carl? Yeah. Carl. Uh, I, I want to know many. what the, like, Carls of ancient Rome were. Oh, my God. If it was, like, um, Zeus. Vettius. Cletus. Yeah, they, Cletus. They, like, <laughs> They say like crazy was names. the uh, was the car. <laughs> <laughs> Carl. Car. Carl. Uh, Carl. It was, Carl. It's the Carl of their uh, of the Roman times. Clay- Cletus. Cletus. <laughs> I wonder if people would name their kids Caesar. Wait, or what? if that was like what was it? You know how people name like like Jesus or Jesus is right. a popular name. I wonder if in Roman times people would name their kids Caesar. Probably. There would have to be. Right? I know. Was was Caesar a name or was it a it's title? Word for king. It's title. It was their word for king, right? <laughs> I don't know. It's a little ostentatious, They're especially kids. in fucking ancient Roman times. Yeah. To name your kid king. Ooh. Uh, you know who were some pretty fucking ostentatious people? Who? Ancient Romans. Oh. But not to like the point where they would be like, Openly, nah, this kid's gonna be king, not you, idiot. I guess. <laughs> like, that's how you get legionnaires showing up at your doorstep. You're right. Like, Name it Marcus Aurelius. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and call it it. <laughs> I'm looking at... Uh, He's I, just looking through Roman looking names. looking through Roman names. We got uh, Prima, Rufina, Sabina. Oh, was that Spartacus? That's crazy. Spartacus was there, I think. Prima, oh, wasn't that first? Livia, that the Marcella, Marcus, Flavia. Boy, this just this just sounds like a very, very low grade mumbo number five. Ooh, <laughs> a little bit of Gaia in my life. <laughs> a little bit, a little of, bit of Prima by my side. A little bit of Decima by my side. <laughs> Decima. <laughs> A little bit of Fabia's all I need. Ah! ah. <laughs> the trumpet. That's, that's, that's all I add to the song. I just do the two songs. I mean, the, tr- the trumpet's the best part. That's true. It is the best part. I together. mean, I cannot play the trumpet, but I will gladly okay. yell trumpet. Yeah. But if I you could, that'd be the song I play I'd play. The play. Trumpet. What about the trumpet? Like, okay, fine. How many, how many buttons are on a trumpet? Four. No way. Three. You don't. You don't know. I don't know either. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it is three. Three buttons. Three. Yes. Yes. No, you're forgetting about the the fourth one. Uh-huh. There's a secret one. Okay. There. There's three on the top, and then there's I guess another one somewhere. 
it looks like there's one in the middle. No, but... it does not. Oh, Don't make right. that feel better. All there's right. three <laughs> actual buttons and then a spit release and valve. They're, are there called buttons? Nikolai is no, so. Nikolai is right, and Matt, you're you're basically both right because yeah. you're looking at it at a different. Yeah, so you're both right. How basically. can we no. both be right? No. But we no. can't because I understand no. what you both mean. No, Al, Matt's wrong. What we both mean. I changed his answer. Yes, four, <laughs> yeah. and then changed and it then to three changed with a spit valve. Three. Nikolai didn't give an answer. He just said, three. said the word no. I said three. You said no at first. Oh, three. I said three. It, all right. Said, there are I don't three. Actually no. <laughs> there are three buttons to each trumpet and are played by the index, middle, and ring finger. Yeah. Are they called buttons? That's what it says. I typed it in right, Google. Cool. And <laughs> Yeah, but you typed how many buttons are on a trumpet. Yeah, and it answered me. So, so there we go. Nikolai was right about how many buttons are on there, and I was right about. Sorry, the fact Matt. That I do play. You got to get in the tomato office. Yeah, tomato <laughs> office. So, shit, dude. The what do they do to you in the tomato office? <sighs> Something filthy, probably. Uh, all right, we eat. Each... They spit the tomato seeds at you. Okay, yeah. all right. Like, you, we spit you would tomato assume seeds. That it's, yeah, like you'd assume they're throwing tomatoes at you. No, 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 no. They're <laughs> no. they're spitting tomato seeds at you. So it's like, you know what? Like you need a lot of them, but it's gross because they're spitting them at you. Oh, so that's what they do in there. I'm. Uh, that's my punishment. Yeah. All right. But wait, Matt, we're going the full trifecta. When you go to the bathroom, someone puts um, tomato sauce on your keyboard. Ooh, mm-hmm. and in your keister. If somebody put tomato sauce on my keyboard, I would fuck somebody up. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah well, it's my like keyboard a, it's is at, super it's fucking your, nice. Uh, oh, yeah. It's that at the sense. Parmesan factory. I don't care where it is. Don't put fuck. <laughs> that's a hundred dollar keyboard. And then when you're cleaning up the keyboard and you're so mad about the tomato sauce, somebody comes in and bashes you in the knee with a bat. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I've got that shit color synced with my computer, green and purple Joker colors. Ooh. You think I'm just going to replace that shit? Fuck no, Marinara. Get out of here. <laughs> just get a fucking... couple Sharpies and color it in. What about your like knees, sir? Yeah. What about my knees? You, you just had the... your knees broken. You in the knee. <laughs> Did you forget about that part? I will do it with a broken knee. I don't oh. care. Okay. I feel like you would fight whoever hit you first that's true uh probably uh, not. in another note in another unrelated uh note Saich, it sounds like you have the okay to hit matt in the knee like we've been planning what? that's true yeah he's so pretty all right with it yeah where it go there go oh karate i'll, I'll be right there karate kick no <laughs> Saich, <laughs> if you come over here right now i swear to he's, god he's not I'm not going to do he's that. I know he's work. not. He's not going to do it. I know he's not going to do that. He has to be at work at like 4 a.m. <laughs> I still feel like he's probably uh, like considering it, though. Nope. Not even a smidge. Just just the idea of like proving you wrong, though, has got to be real nice. It's true. Fuck work. I'm Go coming. ahead. Do it. Make my day, punk. <laughs> 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 Fuck work. I'm coming. <laughs> just imagine you, get, you start your journey... It's what nine now. You get here ten thirty. Oh, show up at my house, knock on the door. I answer. All right, you you proved me wrong. <laughs> See ya. And, and he just goes back home. <laughs> it's just, he doesn't get home till fucking one a.m. Nikolai, can I uh? <laughs> uh can I sleep if, over? If, if I'm Seich, probably gonna call out of work tomorrow. If Seich <laughs> left now, he could get there. The earliest at 11.30. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hour 57? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, I have to transfer? Yeah, he has to take a bus. Fuck this. <laughs> Good luck. Fuck this. Good luck. Yeah. Uber. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It'll be uh, oh, $200. <laughs> Worth it. You could be like... Uh, TV personality Joel McHale, who took a Uber ride from Rochester, New York, to New York City. Ooh. No way. He did. His flight got canceled, and he had to do an appearance on Late Night. Uh-huh. So he paid an Uber driver $700, 
plus two hundred dollars in tips, plus an extra hundred dollars for gas. Back. Wow, a thousand dollar Uber ride. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> well, I mean, okay, so that flight was definitely cheaper. Oh, but there are yeah, so. flights that cost that much money. Yeah. Yeah. So that's not as but insane that, as it sounds. That's still pretty crazy. But for but the a, driver, would that make sense? You could have just sense? rented a car. You could have rented a plane. Just re- rented a plane for $1,000? You could have rented a helicopter ride to New York City for $1,000? Not really? a, a I no helicopter oh, yeah. expensive. Yeah, you really? Have a a thousand helicopter bucks? laying around. Yeah. I, it's like a, I mean, it's a helicopter ride around Manhattan's like, I don't know, $200? Yeah, but that's price gouging because they're doing it to tourists. I guess, yeah. If you're looking for travel helicopters? Either way, though, like, the driver, is that worth it for him? Like, oh, I'm on the other fucking... And then he has to drive all the way back, too. I'm trying to think how far of a drive that is. I don't know, like... From Rochester to to New Moon City? Yeah. Probably about 30,000 hours. That's a lot of hours. Wow, Jesus. That's like that man's dead. Well, he's coming from New York to the moon, Sight. Yeah. What do you want? It's true. <laughs> it's a long trip. It's true. It's it like is a long drive. <laughs> what? Two or three hours? From Rochester to yeah. New New York City? Yeah. Oh, I think way longer. How far? Where? I, I'm... Rochester's like upstate. Yeah, but where? Like upstate is such a vast state. Uh, Rochester on, by car is five hours, ten minutes to six hours. Five later. hours. A thousand dollars for a five hour ride. And then he only tipped him two hundred bucks and a hundred bucks for gas on the way back. Her. Her, oh. sorry. Oh, sexist Nikolai. <laughs> uh, but but think about this though. The machine that means that this person was only getting a hundred dollars each way. So or two hundred dollars for ten hours of driving. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's not great. Yeah. True. That's and not you're a putting great, a ton of miles on your car. That's yeah. not a great Per hour. And that's 10 hours like, of straight driving. Yep. Ugh. Fuck that. Fuck Joe McHale. <laughs> <laughs> kind of shitty. I hope he tipped her a little bit extra ca- with cash, too. Or a picture, at least. Well, he said 200. Huh? But I, I don't know any more than that. Eat the rich, this all right? Flower. Eat them. Eat the rich! Eat them all up! <laughs> Anarchy! <laughs> Eat them with your mouths and put them in your belly. Digest the rich. Nom, 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 nom. They're good for your system. They're like carrots. Ooh. Full of nutrients. They're the rich. Eat they may up. look yum, ugly, yum. but they're rich. Eat the rich. Welcome to Anarchist RLF. Yeah. Anarlf. Oh, shit. Wow. No, I didn't like that, man. I, uh, <laughs> I don't like that either. That's not. Uh, Nerlf. Hey, welcome to Nerlf. <laughs> try, try again. Make it better. Uh, fuck Sage podcast. Wow. Yeah. Ooh. Everybody, fuck Super Sage. Uh, <laughs> oh man, this is. He turned it around, guys. Of course, he wants a podcast where all, he has to fuck all of the dudes he's friends with. Oh shit! I didn't want it. I'm you got you got love this with in. your friends. I don't. No, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> dead silence. <laughs> no. Sexual love with your friends. Sexual love with your friends. Dead silence. <laughs> Guys, right now, Sige, ten hours. We could get. To, we could be in Detroit. Wow. What the fuck are you Why? talking about? Let's just drive. <laughs> Let's go. The fuck oh. you talking about? <laughs> Why the fuck? No one has ever <laughs> uttered that <laughs> statement with that much excitement. No. But, but Why do you wanna... What the hell would you do there? In hey. 10 hours, we could be in Detroit. <laughs> All right. It'd what? be morning. We get a bagel. Oh, I don't want to do any a of bagel this. here. Yeah, yeah. A bagel around the block from your own house. You know where I can get a bagel? Right around the block. A Detroit bagel. <laughs> and they got extra it sauce. Sounds, it sounds gross. Detroit it's bagel. It's got dirty, bad water. Mm. <laughs> yeah. You want a bagel made with Detroit water? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I like the dirty here? water I want to see how have. different it tastes. All right. Now you're talking. I can relate <laughs> to that. I can definitely relate to that. I don't know. I don't know. You, you, fuck you. You should know. 
<laughs> well, if you don't know, now, now you, you know. know. Don't now say it. You... Matt, Matt. I know not to say it. Beetlejuice? Oh, don't say it. Oh, no, I'm not saying it. Is it Beetlejuice? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I am going to say so. the N-word. <laughs> Danny DeVito. Oh. Uh, Always that... Sunny. Okay. Oh, yeah. They did a musical episode where they all switched bodies. Oh. <laughs> Was that they... recent? Huh? Is that like last season or two seasons? Two, might have been two seasons, seasons ago. Yeah, yeah. And they they switch bodies into the bodies of uh, like black people. And <laughs> Danny DeVito just spends the whole time <laughs> trying to figure out if it's okay for him to say the n word. That show is very funny, but it's uh, I don't know. It has not held up for me as well I as other shows. Enjoy it. There are certain shows nowadays that I find hold up a lot better. Like South Park, I feel like still brings it so much better than Always Sunny. Got them Tegrity Farms. Um, I still didn't watch uh, Rick and Morty from last night. Oh, no, did I? Nope. We didn't watch that either. Uh, You say it like it's my fault. (laughs) Say it like it's my fault. (laughs) (laughs) Who programs the DVR? Um... You guys sound like Jesus. a married you couple. Two are so adorable. <laughs> I was trying to sound like a married couple. <laughs> well, accomplished. I just let him take the wheel. Huh? I just let Jesus take the wheel. That's how I live my life. Jesus. That is the farthest thing from how you live your... <laughs> Every decision, I go, Jesus... You take this wheel. <laughs> you tell me which way. Is that before or after you agonize about it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah i guess i don't consult with the lord too frequently who does though i, I last time know. anybody consulted with him about anything he was like what and then he wrathed him probably no i feel like priests <laughs> he was nice do. in the Pretty... end in that second uh, chapter what chapter i guess i didn't read the bible the be New very Testament. careful where you tread while mentioning priests yeah that's true <laughs> um <laughs> I don't think there's been God in those houses in a long, long time. I would think uh, they're just definitely due for some spiting. Um, uh, what were you saying? The, the, you said the second chapter; it was pretty good. You mean uh, the New the, Testament? The God, New Testament well, is well, that in what you're the early to? Testament? God kills everybody, and the new one, he's like, all yeah, right, he just kills Jesus, his son. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's yeah. a sacrifice, you know. I mean, re- in you know, in retrospect, one guy compared to all of the yeah, deaths in the exactly. Old Testament. Yes. Yeah. I don't know. I uh, I read this uh, sci-fi book uh, where um, there was like this alien sphere and it captured all consciousness and it existed for millions of years so like every Mm -hmm. person from millions years ago to today when they died they went to like quote unquote heaven but it was this alien sphere oh shit so their their consciousness existed yeah they basically everyone who died would just get uploaded to the sphere and live forever be pretty pretty crowded in that sphere that's a great I like that idea well it's just data site yeah, pretty crowded. It Sorry, AT and T. Unlimited in the alien heaven ball. <laughs> it's the ultimate data collecting service. And you can date anyone. You could date a caveman. I guess. Uh, but <laughs> you could date a bug person. Why do you want? Why do you want to date? I either of those. I said. Two. I said data. Like oh, uh, I went too far with it. Yeah, so. you wants to date a bug yeah, person. This is where we are. <laughs> Yeah, you can. Your consciousness can totally date the consciousness of Edgar Allan Poe if you so Ooh. choose. You know, like I would get fucking crazy with it. I'd be like, "Oh, I'm dating Marilyn Monroe and that first caveman lady." <laughs> ooh. <laughs> you're, you, oh, you took Unga out. Yeah, you know it. Oh, she crazy. <laughs> she give you the bunga. <laughs> bunga. bunga. <laughs> <laughs> um. Shit. Uh, that that is actually a pretty cool like explanation of like the afterlife. Um, one of the ones I always liked. I'm sure we've talked about it before, but have you ever read the egg? No. Oh, no. Yes. I've, heard of it. yes. I've eaten many. Um. So the egg is like a, a science fiction short story, and it is essentially that every person who's ever lived, me, you, every person throughout history, whatever, uh, are all the same person who keeps living these lives throughout different time periods. And when we're done experiencing every single life that has ever happened throughout history, we will have gained enough experience to become 
God. We're one of God's offspring. So all of Earth is an egg for a new God. Okay. It was, it was interesting. Pretty crazy. Yeah. Pretty so pretty you crazy. dated yourself. You bullied yourself. Huh. Killed yourself. You effed yourself. You killed raised, yourself. You effed yourself. yourself. Did a podcast with yourself. So we're, well, just, we're four of ourselves right just now talking. Here talking to ourselves. Yeah. I, I don't like this. I don't like it. <laughs> get it get it away. No. We can be in this Detroit in ten like, hours. <laughs> this makes me feel like I'm watching one of the bad Terminator movies. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna see the new one. We should uh we I should go. I fucking loved it. I loved oh! it. Really? I loved I it. it. Wow. It was simple. It was great action. It got straight to the fucking point. Uh. Didn't mess around. It was great. I loved it. It was funny. It tried to be funny, and it was funny. Like, I totally loved it. Damn. Dug man. the whole thing. All right. New Terminator's cool. New Terminator. Anyone really fucking cool. listening who likes Terminator, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sarah Connor, check it out. Yeah. I really liked it. <laughs> really dug it. Were you telling? I didn't watch Genesis. I didn't watch... Um, I never fucked with any of that. I did watch Terminator 3, and I liked Terminator Salvation. That was not a bad movie. But which I heard parts? that... What, <laughs> what do you mean? Which parts? <laughs> like, which parts did you consider Linda not Hamilton. bad? I, I liked, know. like... You didn't have to I don't know. Google I thought the end me. fight scene was pretty good, where he gets the, <laughs> the scar in his face. I thought Kyle Reese was pretty good. Um... Huh. Yeah, the Terminators are kind of lacking. You'll learn a lot about a guy. What, what is that movie like? I didn't realize that movie was one of those ones that everyone hates. You know me. What? Uh huh. You you know how I am with movies. I'll I'll usually sit through anything. Okay, but Terminator Salvation. I fell asleep. Wow. Okay. I never sleep. Wait, which one? And movies. I was uh, listening the, to anything. The, uh, that was Christian Bell one. I didn't uh, mind that I one. Can, I, I, I like that one. There, I feel like that one is yeah. uh, that one is slow. Of you did. It's good, but it's slow. It's better than the third, but better than Terminator Three, yeah. definitely. Terminator Three is a hot pile of garbage. Oh, yeah, like we can all agree ones. on that. Uh, but I heard that Genesis is really, really bad. As I well. enjoy Genesis. Genesis I is watch kooky, but the beginning of Genesis, there's a future fight scene in the future, and it's like actual <laughs> Terminator future, and they got laser guns, and it's really good. Oh wow! Okay, yeah. that's cool. and then they go back in time, and it's just okay. not good. <laughs> yeah. Where do they go back in time from? They go into like, eighty five, and then like where Sarah Connor's already trained, and she like kills all the Terminators. Like she kills like two Terminators, and then it goes oh. from there, which sounds pretty badass. Oh. It is. I, I I enjoyed it, but it's yeah. yeah. But you're a big old nerd, so <laughs> I love the Terminator. It's beautiful. I just wanted to get you to say future one more time. The future. <laughs> the future. You said future. it so many times. <laughs> uh, there, the I future. almost named uh, another episode of uh, Our Left Future, but. Uh, Have you already done that before? Yeah, there's uh, the be- the morning of the future, I think was one. Uh, I think, yeah, I think yeah, so. The morning of the future. Morning of the future. This one's going to be uh, spit tomato seeds. Yeah, uh, the tomato room. <laughs> spitting, spitting tomato seeds. Man. Uh, I don't even know if people know like what show we're on. Like what, what number? Show we're on? No, like we haven't done. Like, who are we? We haven't introduced ourselves. Oh, oh. where are we? Where am I? Uh, I am Grumble <laughs> Pumble. Grumble. Grumble Pumble. Grumble Pumble. Mm. Hello. S- it's, it sounds like if I know your name, I have power over you. It's, yeah, it does. <laughs> ha, Grumble Pumble. He also Pumble. sounds like his part-time job is like one of the, the like foreman elves for Santa Claus. <laughs> he's not he's not a head elf because no. he doesn't want it. <laughs> but he's a foreman. Like if he, he wanted it. Yeah, he runs the iPad division. Push he me would down take the twinkle, stairs. He would take Twinkle Sprinkle out in a heartbeat. Oh, oh he, yes. Like, Grumble Pumble, is, he's got a real strong <laughs> reputation. He always meets his numbers. Grumble pumble. Grumble pumble. <laughs> Destroy me, but I have the numbers. <laughs> See? Grumble pumble gets it. 
Jeez, Grumble Pumble's dark. Grumble Pumble yeah. don't fuck around. No, no. Uh, I also do not fuck around. My name is Nikolai. You can reach me on uh, Instagram, which is uh, at RLF Instagram. Oh, shit. Yeah, dude. There he is. <laughs> well, I'm Matt. You can reach me over at RLF YouTube. Mm-hmm. Matt? Or on Twitch at twitch.tv. Oh, God. Oh, God. God. Not we again. lost. Not again. We oh, lost. Shit. Uh, again. That's pretty cool. How oh, this is terrible. Why? Well, like, uh, I, Why? I should do it more often. But Why? I always, can you hear us? Uh, I would say three Probably. times a week. Oh, no. that's great. Uh, yeah. I try and do it more, but I always wind up wanting to do it Friday because we never really do anything Friday. Oh, yeah. And oh, then I'm going. like, oh, wait. I'll stream it. Oh. Yeah, you don't want to like. <laughs> I don't want to be that guy. That would be. Yeah, yeah I got it. Yeah, uh-huh. Plus, Al is such a. Uh, you know about all that stuff, right? I mean, good thing we recorded with Grumble Pumble well, this week. So yeah. be mixed together with whatever. Right, I also don't think they're here. They're just screaming at hello? each other. Hello. Oh, oh there they are. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Sorry, we had to get some butter. Oh, all right. Some butter break. Did they? They're. Fu- they, yeah. Oh, they're fucking. They stopped to fuck each other. Oh, they're what? fucking. They no. no. Why are you moving the mic away from your mouth? They're oh. fucking. Oh, okay. We're not, we're not fucking. <laughs> That's I was, what butter is. I was just eating butter. Oh, you went to go get butter. some butter? I was just you, eating you butter. You said you went to milk oh, his butter. Oh, he's putting butter on his dick and you're sucking it hey. off. No. Wow. No, hey. it's just spoonfuls of butter. Hey. It's so man. sweet and creamy. And even if we did. That's Okay. <laughs> But we're I not. just want you to be okay with it. Cause I we're fine with it. But we're, we're not doing it. Yeah, but we're not. So it's fine. <laughs> okay. All right. Look, that butter's sure. for chicken, and that's about it. Yeah. Why do you put butter on chicken? Buttery chicken? Because you on. cook it, you flip it, you cook it, and then you put butter in, and then there's butter in it. Okay. Yep. <laughs> hey, man. The recipe says that's that. Steak. I made potatoes yesterday. I cut my thumb open. Yeah. Oh. oh. Was it bad? Uh, I, I, uh... She has the tiniest band-aid on it right now. <laughs> like, the, 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 it doesn't even qualify as a real band-aid. I, cut, I don't know what like, this the, is. the very front of it, I was cleaning the knife, and then I... It was a very sharp knife uh, one, of my fr- my, one of my fans sent me, and I cut it open. Yeah, I've seen sharper. Ooh. And then I had to hold... I held it for a long time, <laughs> and Sides kept asking if I needed help, and I said no. I was trying to cut, like, bandages by yeah, myself. Yeah, I, was, I was like, oh, do you need help with, with any of that? He's like, no, I got it. And he was, like, wrapping gauze on his thumb and then holding it with his face and trying to cut it with these, like, the worst scissors. Oh, and I'm like, I'm like, dude, I can cut that. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> Why wouldn't you accept help in that moment? Oh I don't know. I was, I was unsure. Just so stubborn. <laughs> Like, no, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, worked out in the end. We got we got it. But uh, what? Yeah, we, it keeps it keeps like ducking out. Yeah. It's ducking out. Super cool. Like Howard. Duck, 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 and now we're ducking out. Um, speaking <laughs> of uh, ducking, I've got some uh, pictures I can throw your way if you want. Sure. Oh, fucking send him through, bud. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, bud. Here it goes. Oh, uh, shit. From the fans, from the heart, it is RLF fan art. So uh, you can guess who this is from. Ah, I seen this on Instagram. Let me see. Uh, it is uh, from our lady conspiracy. Conspiracy, that's great. Oh. Uh, she's giving she's out a little uh, Sven. Oh, oh Mister, 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 Mister. Oh my God, that's amazing. That you know that's a call back. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Call back, y'all getting crazy. Mm-mm, pent you know up. It's true. That's very true. Um, I love the Mister Mister. That that you know that's such a great callback to the glory days of our life. Oh man, the back when we were temple. crushing it. Yes. Yeah, not this deluded nonsense. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was like episode <laughs> four. Yeah, back when it was good. <laughs> when it was <laughs> fresh. Yeah. Uh, when's when Seich wasn't on it anymore. I was there. Oh, man. Oh. 
Yeah, you were there. Episode one was, was the only one I wasn't there. <laughs> yeah, so I guess you got lame after that then. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> He's just fist pumping. Right. Just fist bumping his way <laughs> into the couch. <laughs> <laughs> he just fist bumped it about fourteen times. Oh man! Oh, I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> fist did, uh, pumped it. Did Sven die? I hope so. Whoa! In the adventure, Sven... Misa Misa. No, I don't no, think. No, I so. think he made it out. I think I was somebody. I think we were trying to get him killed. Probably that sounds about <laughs> right. Or at least somebody was. <laughs> we probably no, wanted to get Sven... I think Sven made it out. Do you think Sven's in school? Nah. Sven, nah. Got Sven's got Sven's working on his own shit. Oh. Sven found some other shit down in those temple Sven's caves. Sven's a punk. I don't like fine? him. <laughs> oh my god. Side story with Sven. Is it rubies? Did he find rubies? No, he got bitten by a strange, small, radioactive baby alligator, though. Oh, oh I, thought I got so nervous. I thought we lost you for a second. <laughs> oh God, we heard nothing, and then Nicola just went, "Oh, oh yeah." <laughs> then you, you, you like, you did miss a lot. <laughs> we were God talking that whole damn time. Damn it! <laughs> yeah, I don't know God. what's going on. Maybe you're uh, the internet's internet being attacked by Russia. Is what's happening? Oh damn! Oh Sorry. shit! Yeah, yeah. They know. Uh, I'm, they know they about what the internet. They've, yeah, they've figured, they figured it out. That RLF. Mark Gotta Zuckerberg. take it down. We're too powerful. Oh, it's finally um, happened. Uh oh oh. Do we have I, any we more have a, fnart? Um, conspiracy. Thank you very much, uh, Gator Swamp. Yes. When she asks, uh, we do not know. In the future, when we Christmas are all special. December? Let's together. do December. Conspiracy. We will I will contact. not be here for a lot of December shows. Oh, really? Matt, Matt won't be I'm yeah. going to Florida. Ooh. Oh, I, didn't, I forgot about that. For like two and a half weeks. Are you for that long? We're going for a long time. Matt, are you going to have who, fun? Who am I going to hang out with? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sites, you got to come. Just hang out. Some extra trips. What? I got a, I got a jab. You got to watch the Nikolai. No, it's gonna keep me company. Well, I can I do lonely. like one or two weekdays, and you can do the weekend. Weekend. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure the bowl's full. You come to Florida. Wait, in December. What? Yeah. What about what about D and D? I oh, we're gonna miss a lot of se- we're gonna miss like two or three sessions. Yeah. That's uh, the bummer. Huh. Jeez, I, hope, man. I hope Florida's worth it, Matt. Yeah, Matt. I really hope Florida's <laughs> worth it. The first vacation I'm taking with my family in like five years. <laughs> That's true. They usually go without you. <laughs> Jeez, well, man. by choice. Yeah. Matt. Like, screw you guys. <laughs> forget about all of this, about all of us. Imagine okay. you've only yeah. known Florida. And turtles and dolphins. <laughs> okay. And then just do that for two weeks. That's probably what I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm going to go down there. I'm making my own lightsaber. Yes. Yeah, and then you're just going to, you should make your own lightsaber and then just go find every single person with a wand and slap it out of their hands with your oh. lightsaber. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, oh, where are your laser swords? Yeah. Oh, you don't have those. Well, I have magic. You don't, you don't have laser swords and magic, huh? Huh. Weird. Huh. That's crazy. Hmm. Can you show me how you make your magic happen? Let me you know, go like, play Quiddle Ditch. And then, the, <laughs> <laughs> and as they go to take out their stupid wands, you just take your lightsaber out and you, pop, pop, and just quickly tap it out of their little kid hand. <laughs> yeah. Because so ah! obviously you're gonna oh, do wow, it to little you're... kids. <laughs> Wow, yeah. your hand's off now, idiot kid. <laughs> what <a> stupid <laughs> asshole. Oh, I guess it's, I guess magic's. Is is certainly better when you can't do it without your fucking little wooden stick. Yeah, bitch. Moron. Cry to your mom. Cry to your fucking mom. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'm really excited for uh, Florida as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Matt, you're gonna have to oh. uh, you're gonna have to uh, show yeah. us your uh, lightsaber when you get back. Oh, I will. Is nice. that a euphemism for penis? No, I want to uh, see his light, actual mean, no. lightsaber. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm sure I'll put it on the gram. Yeah, yeah, just show everyone your uh, lightsaber. Right? Yeah, yeah. just, just yeah. throw I'm it gonna. I mean, I'm gonna. They give you like, because when you do the experience, you go and you like you get like a travel bag for it and everything and you can like take pictures while they're doing it and stuff. So I'm just going to fucking, the whole thing's going to be on Instagram. Okay. Yeah. And then yes. you guys will be able to check it out at home. Ooh. And then oh. of course I'll bring the lightsaber around so you can all feel my lightsaber in your hands. I'd love to feel that power. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You can wear a bathrobe around, make believe you're Jedi. <laughs> yeah, that's classic and, bathroom. It'd be uh, super comfy. Yeah. Ah, uh, so comfy. Yeah. Just Jedi's have... do have great, like they're very comfortable outfits. Smart idea, guys. Yeah. Smart thinking. Yeah. Smart idea. But the Sith, those motherfuckers have fashion sense. Yeah, you think so? Oh my god, are you are you kidding me? Why? Why make sure that? Oh, everything they wear is black, slimming, slimming. Mm-hmm. shiny. They've got some leather, some cloth in there that Slippery. really works with it. They make use of masks, which is very difficult to do. Yeah. They understand shadow and light composition very well. <laughs> Siths? Mm, stylish. Uh-uh, Why is it always the villains that know how to dress so well? It's true. What What happened? Because they, they, they they're like, I don't care what happens. I'll dress however I want. It's my hot body. I'll do what I want. It's my hot body. Did you ask why? Sorry, I what? cut you off. Did what? you ask? Did you ask why villains have such a good fashion sense? Me? That's what you asked, didn't you? No, Nikolai. Uh, oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought that's what you said. The fuck are you I talking about, man? <laughs> no, I just said that they do. I know that's uh, that wasn't a question. Uh, oh, okay. I thought you had asked. <laughs> it was it a statement, Matt. I'm sorry. I sent you both Jeez, a you know what? crackers, Matt. Ah, oh, fuck. Cheese and crackers. You know what? I'm done. What? I sent you both a picture. Don't you threaten me with a good time, okay? I'm leaving. You're not leaving anything. You calling an Uber? What is this? <laughs> Why? What is this? Do you it? see it? Yeah. All right. This is what from is Phelan. <laughs> Phelan says, do you know anything about a price regarding a Valiant Rookie's Torah card? I've posted it in the email. What? Phelan? That's like what... from our D&D campaign, Phelan? Dylan, a.k.a. Phelan. Nikolai, did you mean how much Dylan? That card? We lost him again. Ow. Two bucks. Well, there he is. Oh. Hey. Oh. We're back. We hear you. That We're back. Please. So, one of them. Nikolai, Matt, do you have a price for these cards? No, what? Why would we have a price for them? Because Nikolai knows cards, roughly, he knows comic books. I would pay roughly eighteen thousand dollars for each. Valen, I will provide you one. Nikolai's information. Okay. Yes, we'll go from there. Yes. Quick, uh, quick dash questions. Uh, Phelan, I don't like Skyrim because uh, the combat is is boring. Cool. And uh, actually, wow, the I combat out, is boring. That wasn't a question. That was a question. Al, why do you dislike Skyrim? Yeah, oh, I just don't oh, like I thought. It. I thought he wrote that he didn't like Skyrim. <laughs> no. Oh. Yeah, I thought that was a statement from him. Yeah, I'm like, that's not a, that's not a question. Even I know that. Uh, Phelan, oh, I did way, edit your message like a it. bit. Thanks uh, for sending us Torak pictures. I like Torak. Do oh, either yeah, do any, yeah. Does anyone know of Torak or no? I don't know who the fuck. I have Torak Dinosaur known. Hunter? Yes, I do. He okay. was a video game. Yes. You're a dinosaur hunter, I know man. Torak, Dinosaur Hunter was a I- image comic or Valiant Ooh, comic. I think, it, I think in the yeah, it was definitely. 90s. But I, I'm almost certain all of that stuff is worthless. <laughs> like I don't even even if there was a movie that was gonna be made, I can't imagine that stuff jumping up in price. No, I have no nostalgia value for Turok. I, I no. enjoyed the Turok games. I didn't. The only I don't know what it is. Indie comic that I know of that's worth any cool. money from the '90s is okay. Uh, they left the Eternal call. Warrior <laughs> Four, which is the first Bloodshot, I believe. Maybe Nick and I think that's the new uh, Vin Diesel something. movie. Oh. That's like a fifty dollar book, but besides that, that stuff's all like really, garbage. Yeah, huh. I mean, I mean, there's some good stories in there. I know a lot of people have a ton of affection for the Gen Thirteen stuff, 
Or, um, I mean, I haven't read any of it. I don't really know it. Well, or Judge Dredd. A lot this of people. It'll be an interesting the, episode, the, everyone. Uh, 80s yeah. Judge Dredd run. Just a whole bunch of. Judge Dredd run. <laughs> oh, oh. But no, you can't hear them now. Anyway. <laughs> to non boring stuff. Comic book nerd? You're a comic book nerd, all right? You we lost him again, didn't we? Hmm. Hello? It's weird because it, no. it was. They're Nikolai's goddamn calls, gone again. Like, this, this is. Guys, I gotta be honest. I'm, I'm pretty done. I mean. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know how much longer this one's really gonna get this to is, go for. There's like no flow to this episode at all. All right, so no. uh, do you guys wanna. All right. Keep recording, but do you want to disconnect and we'll do like we did last time, but just with 10 minutes for each of us? What are we talk? Sure. Well, sure. I have some comments printed out. Matt and I will go on that. Okay. And why don't you guys do whatever you want to do? We'll figure something out. I'm not telling a story. Jameson. All right. So we're going to take a look at the comments section. Woo! And uh, I'm pretty excited for it. Unfortunately, due to technical difficulties, uh, we won't get to hear Seich and Al's input on the comments. But uh, honestly... Like, what are we missing? Oh, <laughs> no, <I'm joking. laughs> our first comment this week is comes uh, comes from an old classic, o- o- Omega Gorilla, uh, the Green Goblin impression. Thank you for that, Matt. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. That was probably the funniest moment of last week's episode <laughs> by far. <laughs> I didn't realize that you had that impression in you. Uh, I'll be honest, neither did I. <laughs> <laughs> neither did I. I really had to bulge the eyes and uh, like dig deep for it. Yeah, you, did. Um, you channeled your inner Defoe. And the thing that really upsets me is it's not the line. What? What do you mean? He doesn't say that. What did you say? See you next time, Spider-Man! Okay, and what, what's the actual line? I think it was like, until we meet again. Uh... Uh, that's 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 gonna haunt you forever it it was but yeah. you know what it doesn't matter uh, it, i i i'm happy with it i think it ma- <laughs> i think it matters i think it matters a lot i think it's taken away from the integrity of the joke oh all right yeah well fuck my shit then <laughs> <laughs> never mind i was gonna Just walk away with a win total, from it but uh, I'll, I'll be garbage <laughs> thanks for reminding me <laughs> Just have a total asshole <laughs> The passionate lobster writes, just so you guys know, a penis bone is called a baculum. A lot of four-legged animals have them, like Matt and Saich on the weekends. It's not a bone. Baculum is not a bone. What is it? It is a, uh, it's a tendon. It's not a bone. It's a tendon? Yeah. It's tendy. A ten? Well, well, first of all, a tendon is not a tendy. A tendy is chicken finger. Right. Tendies. Yeah. And that's different than a tendon, because if you get a tendon in a chicken in a tendy, then you're chewing a lot and you're unhappy. Mm, that's true. Yeah, but you won't ever get that because it's processed cardboard mixed yes. with like a chicken breast. Yes, <laughs> correct. That is correct. That is correct. <laughs> no, I have no idea. The baculum could be a bone. I was just being a little dick, know it all. Oh, okay. I have no idea what it is. Yeah. Um, that's interesting. I didn't know. Well, I know I you had no credit for that amazing joke. What was the joke? Oh my god! I'm sorry, I didn't hear it. I talked a over lot of four legged animals have them, like Matt and Seich on the weekends. Oh fuck you! That's amazing. That's such a great. I joke. thought he said two legged, <laughs> not four legged. I was like, why point us out specifically? All humans are two legged. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm not a four-legged animal. You are when you uh, become one with Seitz. We are not... If anybody is gay with Seitz... Uh-huh. It would be you? It would be you 100%. No. Oh, no. my God. You finish each other's sentences. No. You have the same sense of humor. Yeah. You literally said slamming salmon earlier this episode one after another i uh failed to see your point our next comment comes from lethal lemming x who writes in on you 69 <laughs> what what, what? Uh, you did... i don't want to bring that one up <laughs> <laughs> our next comment comes from uh judge judy for president oh our next comment is judge judy for president 2020 from lethal lemming x oh okay. nailed it <laughs> nice. also disagree with it Fuck Judge Judy. She's a bitch. 
Why is she a bitch? I can't stand her. My mom loves Judge Judy. She's just a condescending bitch. I hate it. That's I don't what like they pay to are, see. They want. I don't see like them. people who are bullies on purpose. That's fair. I don't like it. And she's a rude person. And I, it's all fake. It's all bullshit. Of course. The fact that anyone believes it drives me bananas. Okay, Mr. The Challenge. I, Give us one minute. I don't even... I mean... Oh, you think that's all real? <sighs> no, I know it's not real. And I don't watch it anymore. You loved it when you did. <laughs> Every goddamn second. <laughs> I just don't like Judge Judy, okay? I think she's a bitch. Fine. I think she's mean. Fuck Th- Judge Judy. That's all fine. Right? Just don't I, I'm running an anti-Judge Judy campaign. All right, Lethal Lemming X. All right, you take this <laughs> Judge Judy from President 2020 comment. You can shove it straight up your keister. Oh, shit. All right? I don't like it. Don't like it. All right. Well, goddamn. Our last comment this week is going to be from Dylan Kurtz. Just caught up with RLF in the last couple of months. And I've got to say it. I take serious issue with one thing that was said. Word. Nikki, you uncultured swine. How the hell does A New Hope rate lower than The Last Jedi for you? I'm telling you, my dude. The movie was about 50% hot garbage. I'm telling and I hate you, myself my for somehow still liking it. I'm telling you, I had to sit in this room. You get it. You get it. The, the beginning of the most epic saga of all time. And he's like... Yeah, but that throne room fight. And I'm like, ah, what? <laughs> Are we going to just sit here and pretend like leave like A New Hope isn't fucking boring? You can pretend that all you want. I'll be over here in the real world. <laughs> no, man. It's boring. No, it is so not. It's, it's, invi- it's invigorating I want. I want to change. Because Start you, to finish. Did, you said this with the Watchmen the other ride. day. I'm going to do this now. It's a nonstop thrill ride. Start I'm g- to finish. I'm going to do this right now. Okay. Okay. Establishing character motivations is not boring. Setup is not boring. I understand setup. I watch but a you- lot of television. <laughs> I've seen a lot of setup. You can't deny that. I've seen a lot of character setup, and I don't always find it boring. But I do find it boring when I think it's boring. Why and is it boring? A New Hope is slow and boring. Okay. Because I live in an Avengers Endgame world. You can't compare the two. I know you can't compare the two, but I've experienced both. And when I experience a new hope, I feel bored. Oh, okay. That uh, Look, that is your opinion. Not and the whole time. And it is incredibly wrong. Not but the whole yours. time. The whole movie is not boring. Listen, Cantina scene. Great. Love meeting Han Solo. That's a wonderful piece of character development with him and Greedo. You get to know who the character is in that moment. That stuff is fucking fascinating. I wish there was more of Luke training on the Millennium Falcon, but there isn't. There's a lot of Han Solo pretending to know how to fly a ship that doesn't have a steering wheel. What the fuck is all that about? Anyway, and then they're just the whole middle of the the movie. What the fuck is all that about? The whole I'm th- going to lose it. <laughs> <laughs> the whole middle of the movie is just what? You're bullying me right now. I'm not bullying You're you. You're bullying me. You go back. All right. You know what? No. You go and you have your Space Vegas movie where, where Space side Vegas. characters. Yeah. In Last Jedi. When fucking what's his name and what's her face? I have said. Time and time again, that that is an awful storyline. And if they cut that out of the movie completely, and oh, if the they cut fifty percent of the movie 15, away, fifteen, not fifty. That was a large portion. No, of No, wait, was it five? Finn zero. side story brought nothing to the movie, and he was on screen for forty-five percent of the movie. His side story at the end of the film was okay and watchable. <laughs> Which part? The part where the He's lady who he met that scene. movie slams into him from the side, yeah. negating his self-sacrifice that the entire message of that movie is about, which is self-sacrifice. But it's not his self-sacrifice but that we're there not? for. It's fucking, it's Luke Skywalker's self-sacrifice that we're there for. But the whole movie was building around how everyone has to sacrifice for victory. But it wasn't his time to sacrifice. It You're was crazy. Luke's time to sacrifice. Crazy. And a new hope. Is kind of boring in the middle. 
I'm going to move on before I lose it. I'm going to move on before I lose it. So this next, uh, before we end tonight, when he uses the force at the end, no, no, good. I like that. Don't it's, that is use good. your witch mind <laughs> to try and corrupt me further. <laughs> Goody DeLeo has made a deal with the devil <laughs> and he should be punished. <laughs> I just the like throne Ray. room fight scene was amazing. I'll give you that. The rest of the movie was subpar and to say it's beneath a new hope is mind boggling to me. I'm just a big Ray guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone cares for Ray, right? Like, like let's get real. Trolling aside, like Ray is... That's the sad part is I do I do care for I you like really, Ray. I kinda like eh. I like I like this it's a different side of what we saw from Luke. Like when Luke got the force powers, he's being guided by Obi Wan and he kinda had this like awe of them, a revelry of them where it was like, Okay, these are ancient powers that I should be respecting and caring. And mm-hmm. I kinda like the fact that it's an alternate take and Ray is like, No, I can do shit that other people can't. I'm a fucking badass. Yeah. I'm going to use this. I like the fact that she hasn't really... I mean, Luke in the second movie, a little bit for a short time, sure. She's never had a mentor. She's just figuring it all out. Yeah. And okay. I I kind of dig that. <coughs> all right. I can see that. I, I, I'm picking up what you're putting down there, Maddie. Um... I mean, all, all, all my... reasons why that movie is better than New Hope. All right. So go ahead. So all on my own, through my own volition. Oh, okay. Uh, I know you put the uh, podcast on iTunes. So I have. I went through and picked out some reviews. Oh, wow. Yeah, on this piece of paper here that you printed out. Oh, that's so kind of you <laughs> to have done that. Right. Yeah. From you for me. Yes, exactly. Uh, <laughs> and I figured, now what's the best way to do this? Because... Do we want to do one a week, or do we want to save them and make them a little bit special? Ooh, yeah, I mean, uh, both options as to what you just said are the same. Um, Like, one a week would be saving them, wouldn't it? Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, do we want to read out multiple a week, or do we want to, like, save them? We'll read one. Pick one for you. Pick your favorite one for this week. So this is a, uh, a, a review pulled from iTunes for RLF, which is now on iTunes. Uh, that's right. And uh, this week, uh, we will be doing iTunes reviews. Mm-hmm. Uh, fun podcast, five stars by Anthony's Wiener. Oh, wow. Been listening to this podcast since early high school and don't plan to stop. The quippy nature of the group really makes you feel like you are Batman. The excellent controls make you move fluently through the world. I give this game a solid 7 out of 10. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Uh, listen to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well played, Anthony Zweener. Thank well you, played. Anthony Zweener. <laughs> wow. I bet you that's the first time you said that. <sighs> Jameson. Well, Saich, welcome to the Saichal portion of welcome the show. Welcome to whatever the fuck this week is. Uh, the internet mm-hmm. has been destroyed. Yeah, they're like, you wanna you wanna record our left? You ain't doing it. <laughs> you ain't doing it at all. Um, Seich, uh, what have big city living? The big city living. What have have you seen anything this week? No, man, what was there? God, there was something super cold. Um, oh my god, I have to take my air conditioner out. There's basically a it hole was in my wall. Dis- it was so cold <laughs> in here, like in the apartment on. Saturday. We went to sleep with sweatshirts on and yeah, Friday. Yeah, Friday night into Saturday, I woke up wanting to physically assault somebody. <laughs> I was so cold, <laughs> but I was too cold to physically assault yeah. anybody. Yeah, was, I mean, it, oh, yeah, because then like you're still outside after you assault them. Yeah. So. No, it would have been in in here. It in would here. probably would have been would, one of us. Yeah, I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna go outside. It was cold. <laughs> um, but that. Uh, I saw the cat. The cat was in some leaves today. Uh, we have an apartment cat who uh, the bottom, fo- the first floor feeds him. It's gotta be. It's gotta be warm. I mean, it's got fur. Right. Well, 
like sitting in the leaves. I get, but like how how warm are leaves? I mean, I mean it could be warm. I don't know. I don't lay in leaves. I just feel like leaves they're not that great of a I don't know, a jacket or whatever. Maybe they're cushiony. Yeah. I mean, I, maybe maybe it just feels comfortable, but um Oh, those leaves wouldn't have done anything. No. Yeah, no. Um just a murderer cat. That's all it is. What else? Uh not the stairs, the rats on your way to work. Um, no, I don't remember anything. I don't remember anything about anything <laughs> that I want to say. Uh, uh, I don't. I don't think I got anything either. Um, oh, I watched more of the uh, that full body, uh, full body VR fucking thing. Oh, that's uh, where you, like the guy also has the feet things for the VR. Yeah. And like you know, like grab shit like it's the craziest thing. I cannot wait, oh man, when like VR is like as uh, normal as buying like a console. Yeah, it, like it's, in ten years or five years or something. It's definitely gonna be. Be like, I was oh, saying, just... I was saying, like people are gonna designate rooms in their house. Yeah, just yeah. For, like a VR room. It's gonna be crazy. You're gonna pad it. So many good games. So much porn. Yeah, that's see, that's gonna be that's gonna be a, a game changer right there. When porn is VR, yeah, people are never gonna leave the house. There's there there is just gonna be people like who like get all their food delivered. I mean, there's people yeah. now, but like even yeah. then, like now they're just gonna live. Have, have you VR live in the sex. world of Zelda. You just go around on your horse, chopping people up like that. So that'd be sick. Fighting skeletons, throwing them in lava. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. Sign like, me up okay. for that. I'm, I'm down. Then you download the uh, the mod for Zelda. And you can marry her. And, and then you, you live in your apartment, and marrying you, Zelda. And then you just live. And then, then you just and life you live in with, Hyrule as the king. It's life with Zelda. Oh, one day, someone the power goes out. And you're like, oh my god! Oh, gotta get, gotta get the torches, I guess. <laughs> gotta get the torches. You have them ready? Yeah. Yeah, I guess. So. Wait, why would there be electricity? No, what I was saying is like you live sixty years in the Zelda simulation, and then in the real oh. world, the power goes out. Oh. And you're like, you don't know what oh. the real world. And then is. I don't know where I. Yeah, I die. Like, <laughs> I just die thinking I'm like, I don't know what's real anymore. Well, the robots were still p- pumping nutrients in your body, so you could stay there for a while, maybe. Oh, and I, it'd just be dark. Cause the, the power Actually, the out. robots would probably yeah run out of power. I mean, ah, where, it could be solar. I don't know. I did, where's my wife? <laughs> where's Zelda? Where, I need to find her. And then people would just think I'm crazy. they probably agree with you. that There'd be other people who'd be like, Oh, gr- Grandpa. <laughs> oh, gra- uh, yeah, everyone just calls you Grandpa. Ah, oh, Grandpa. Oh, grandpa. <laughs> Hello, Grandpa. I don't know you. Ah, oh, Grandpa. Wait, isn't this like five, ten years in the future? What have you, Grandpa? Know. <laughs> what have you? I, I don't Let's have any Let's say twenty. Kids. Let's say twenty then. I mean, you're still not Grandpa. It, no, yeah, even no. twenty. I don't have any kids now. Oh, grandpa. So 20 years, my kid. Okay, if, at if, Even if I 60, pop a kid out next 60, year. At 60, then. So at 60? Yes. Yeah, so I figure if I make it to 60, years. VR is going to be well, crazy getting... good. What? If I make it to 60, VR is going to be crazy good. So yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. Grandpa. I don't know why everybody calls me Grandpa, though. Because you're 60. Say, they say it like that, though. Grandpa. Hey, grandpa. Maybe I hacked the internet and I said, this is your grandpa. And that was a meme and it got spread. <laughs> it's just picture And then when people see you, they're like, grandpa. Oh, man, don't do that. No, because then you'll be remembered. Grandpa Seich. It's true. All right. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> grandpa Seich. Uh, Dude, I feel like grandpa Seich. My body. Oh. My body. Oh. Well, uh, you could, uh, you should, uh, we should, uh, you should go to a spa, like one of those old men Russian spas. No, because it's a bunch of naked dudes. I don't want to see old wieners. Get a private I need to go, like, session. a masseuse. I just need a massage. 
like they don't even need to give me a happy ending. Like I'll just take a massage. It's fine. <laughs> There's got to be like a reputable place around here. Like a real maybe. I don't know. Probably. But it's it's probably expensive because all the I don't know. You probably get a massage for like sixty bucks for like an hour. Okay, yeah. I don't need a full How hour. About an hour though. though. Maybe exactly. thirty minutes, twenty minutes. Th- I'm give just me. Gonna keep going down. I'll give you like twenty bucks for. 15 minutes. Okay, okay. And, and a tip. Like, I'll do that. Nothing crazy, you know? I don't think I've... I don't know if I've ever gotten, like, a real massage. I've gotten one. And I was like, man, this feels real nice. I should do this more. And I never, ever did right, it again. Right, yeah. Because it's always... I don't know. It's always... It's like, ah, oh, you're just gonna... I don't know. I've never gotten one, so I just... I know it probably feels good, but I'm just like, yeah. I have to pay for you to fucking touch my back. And... I mean, it, it's I mean, like I they, don't just, they don't just touch it. They don't just poke your back. <laughs> ah, ah. Like, uh, thanks for the money. <laughs> they fucking, like, do shit. They're like, mm. <laughs> they, 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 mm. They, 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 they need it. They need, need it like they, a they cat, need, like yeah, a big cat. They need the, need the dough. Need that dough. Dough it up good. And then they make a pizza on your back when you're laying there. Tomato sauce. And then you get it. They cook it. And then they, uh, when you're done with the massage, you get it on your way out. Ooh. Yeah. I wonder if you could, probably not, if you put, um, uh, what, what is the first part of a pizza? Dough? The d- yeah. I, yeah. If put, if how you, else, how else would you start a pizza? Well, I don't, I, I, I was unsure of the down. name. Maybe it was bread or circular bread. <laughs> circular <Sink>. bread. <laughs> You know, you uh, you get that circle bread and you put it down. <laughs> you get your all right. You get dough. You get the sauce. You get uh, cheese. You get pepperoni. You put it on your back, and they lower an oven. <laughs> that would be <laughs> down. Could they cook it on your back? Yes, like at a certain. Probably not, right? No. <laughs> yeah, probably not. <laughs> they would have to put it at like. I say, ninety, tops. Okay, and then that's the, even like, still probably way too hot. And then it would take, it's like, like four or five hours then to cook, <laughs> and then it would get super like no. Why would anybody <laughs> even want that? Hey man, I don't know what the rich want. They could they could like prepare the pizza on your back like they slap the dough on there and they, okay okay and then they you feel them like pour the sauce on and then they like throw the cheese real hard so it like you feel it and they could probably bake it for a little and then they, bit like, they place the pepperoni you're not gonna throw that come on no it's pepperoni it's gentle yeah and then they take it off and then they make it like in a real oven not on your back <laughs> severely burning you I don't know. I don't know, man. I mean, I, I agree. No, I your, know. Yeah, your, no, I know. It your would... <laughs> plan sounds much better, and I agree with it. Yeah. Yeah. That would, it might even feel good. Who knows? Hey, there's a... We could start that business. We could. I mean, it'd be a lot of money. You, ah, we you, buy... Well, it's still a lot of pick money. pick what pizza you want. You get the massage, and then, like... They make the pizza on your back, and then they take it to the oven. Yeah. And then when the massage, you get it like the like, end you, of the massage. You have to be e- eating a whole pizza pie, or like you have to be going to a party or something. We're not gonna build. We're not gonna do one slice. Yeah, no, you get the whole pie. You don't have to eat the whole pie at one time. I know, but people aren't gonna buy. You a don't. Whole you pie. get a whole pie and you don't eat it at one time. <laughs> you're the you're the master of eating food. Up. What are you talking about? I suppose. It's doable. I Look, everyone, we're gonna quit RLF because we get paid for this, <laughs> and we're gonna. I mean, by we quit RLF, it's not gonna take. All no, we need day. time for the pizza business. Yeah, we need to like, oh, like a daytime thing. back pizza. What is it called? Dough, dough soft. <laughs> no, <laughs> it'd be like it's gotta be something. Need my dough. Dome re, it's gonna be something like uh, with like massaging and pizza having to do with Rumble Brothers. Rumble Brothers, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? How is 
did that have to do with anything? I don't know, like Rumple, like it's it's uh bumpy and then like brothers like we're in business. It'd be like uh I can't fucking think of anything right now. Well, it looks like we're going with Rumble Brothers here. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> Back pizza. That one, Back pizza. That one was <laughs> pretty, pretty on straight to the point. Um, what about like Dough Soft? Dough Soft? Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, we going to uh, Dough Soft. <laughs> it's like a new, it's a modern hip name. Like, we have to appeal to these... How is that? I don't know. It's hip. Because it's two names that don't really make any sense, but it's like, oh, I guess it's pizza. Did nobody... And then, oh, yeah, and they massage you, by the way. <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't get that from the name. Hey, man, it's 20... It's $25 for a pizza. Just like, uh, like, like pizza rub down or something. All right, pizza rub down. Yeah, pizza rub down. Pizza rub down. You heard it first here, everyone. <laughs> Yeah, rub you, yeah, rub down pizza. Rub down down pizza. You know, you know what uh, would most likely not happen if uh, we owned a pizza shop. If someone burst in the front door and fucking whipped out fucking Glock forty seven. That would be. I mean, that'd be pretty pretty bad. I'd shit my pants. I uh, I mean, I would probably. I mean, if, I mean, if I had to, I wouldn't like. Shit. Wait, you if you had to shit your pants? Yeah, but like if I had to shit, maybe I would. I don't know if I would. that situation. But I wouldn't just be like, oh, no, all of a sudden. Probably be I a have squirt, maybe. I don't know. I, I'd be like, yo, here's the money. I'd definitely pee a little. Yeah. I don't want a gun waving around. Yeah, especially around all that pizza. No, thank you. All that body pizza. <laughs> That's right. My back pizza. Get away from my back pizza. <laughs> Look, if I, if I got back pizza, I'm fine. But if I, if I got a gun... I don't want to be there. Yeah. Also, if I need a gun, I don't want to be there. You can't even do it right, Al. 